If you've ever seen any of my content, then you know I place a large emphasis on the role of breathing within the exercises that I teach. Now you can just use this video as a way to improve your overall breathing strategy and your ability to use your diaphragm. But it's going to be a little bit different than how you've seen it be coached in the past or in other content that you've seen potentially from other people coaching breathing. And the reason why I'm going to teach it this way is because a lot of people coach this belly breathing strategy where we breathe in, we really fill up our belly and then we exhale. Or when we breathe in, we're really focusing on creating some sort of belt or expansion in this part of the rib cage. But what a lot of those techniques are missing in my opinion is that the lungs, which are in the rib cage themselves, need to be able to create 360 degrees of expansion from front and back and side to side, literally in every direction when we breathe in. Now, the belly is also going to rise alongside that synchronously and to a slight extent, but it shouldn't be just the belly because proper breathing is going to require us to get a synchronous expansion when we inhale compression as we exhale. So nice, slow and controlled breathing as I coach it will be very important for us to create more parasympathetic input into our nervous system, more rest and digest, if you will. Whereas tense, shallow, quick breathing will be more sympathetic. This is more fight or flight. We don't necessarily want that if the goal is to create an easy environment to find and feel the right things in. How many times do you see people who have these flared ribs or even yourself? And a lot of times what that just is, is people pushing air down and forward. And that's just pushing the ribs up because these ribs easily change shape relative to other ribs. So they can flare up and stay flared up because that is where we are expanding. So what we're gonna focus on doing is bringing these ribs down via a full exhale. And then as we inhale, keeping a slight amount of tension in the side abs, which will allow us to fully expand the rib cage in the front and back and side to side, and also be able to expand the belly alongside that to the extent it needs to. We can use a basic 90-90 position to teach ourselves how to take nice, long, full diaphragmatic breaths. And we have a bench right here, but you can use anything. A chair works, a little stool works, whatever keeps your knees and hips bent at a 90 degree angle. So Taylor has her hands on her low ribs and we're just going to take a nice, full, but soft, long exhale. And that's gonna look like opening up your mouth as if you're sighing it out, just That's going to allow us to get a nice full exhale without overly recruiting the six pack abs because the obliques and the deep abs, the transverse abs are more muscles of exhalation, which will allow the ribs to come down without overly crunching through the six pack. So once we get that nice full exhale, we're gonna feel those side abs engage. And we wanna keep a slight amount of tension in those side abs as we close our mouth. And we're going to pause between the exhale and the inhale. And then after a couple of seconds, we're gonna take an inhale through the nose and if you do it well, keeping a slight amount of ab tension, you're gonna feel your chest and back expand, and that's good. You will have a slight degree of the belly rising, but it should be simultaneous alongside with the rib cage expanding. And that is how we use our diaphragm to breathe. So one more time, we're just chill. Nice, full, long exhale with the mouth open and she's going to feel those ribs come down side abs is going to engage after about five to eight seconds pause with the mouth closed about two to three seconds inhale through the nose keeping a slight amount of that ab tension you're going to feel your chest expand a general rule is i should hear you gently exhale but i should not hear you inhale because if i hear you inhale you're going to be using your neck to inhale we don't want that to happen we want them to be secondary muscles of inhalation we want to use our diaphragm and we want to be able to do that without overly recruiting the neck what we don't want to happen is have only the belly expand and that is that traditional classic belly breathing strategy because if that happens we're not actually expanding our rib cage and just these lower ribs are going to flare if we want a nice full diaphragmatic breath, we need to expand the chest cavity. We need to be able to open up that space and it should be a simultaneous rise of both the chest and back and also the stomach. That is a nice full inhale and that allow our lungs to expand into that space within our chest cavity. What we also don't want to happen is we don't want to only breathe into our chest because then we're going to have our ribs flare in addition to our back extending. And that's not necessarily great either. So that's why we want a simultaneous synchronous rise and fall. If you're holding onto the side abs just a little bit, you're going to get both of those things in all likelihood.
The reason why this is important in the context of the exercises themselves is because we need to create an environment of safety and awareness and relaxation so that way we can educate our nervous system and our body how to adapt to these new positions.